going back to Noah's real quick. If there's anything I thought I was gonna regret doing, but didn't, and I think it was um, being by myself. And I know I always have people there. Um, I had y'all, I had my parents, I had my my closest friends. But it really felt like um, a desert moment. Like in the desert, uh, whatever the beliefs are, I know with me it was in a desert, all you have is you and God. So either succumb or keep fighting, right? And that's how I felt. I felt like I needed to get past this and no one was, I had the support, I had the people there, but there was nothing no one could tell me to be like, hey, you're done, snap out of it, they're gone, you know? Like you need to keep moving forward. There was some stuff like people tell me and I'm like, I appreciate that, but I couldn't get myself out of the funk for a while. And I always thought if I was by myself or if I was selfish, um, and selfishness isn't bad, but if I was being selfish, it would always end up bad. It would always make me feel like a bad person. But I'm glad that I spent time by myself. I remember one of the best memories I have ever of that that era was uh, going to see Shang-Chi by myself. Mm-hmm. It was. Did I, did I ever tell you about that? No, I still never seen that movie. It's really good. I really enjoyed. Pretty good it. movie. Um, for like, it's like a. It feels like an old school kung fu movie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Now we can't say kung fu. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but that was because I asked a few friends, "Hey, do you want to go see Shang Chi? It's out tonight." Da da da. Oh, I can't go. I don't want to. I, and I'm like, what's going on? So I was like, you know, I'm just going by, gonna go by myself. So I text my parents, I'm gonna go see this movie by myself. I think I saw that movie like four times because I, I ended up going to see it with other friends, my parents, and I think I saw it by myself again. Um, but I, I saw that movie. I remember I just, you know what? I'm going to take this night to myself. I saw, I uh, got some wings. I got some pizza. I got uh, some a large thing of soda. I got some candy. And it was one of the best experiences of my life because I was like, I have me and that's all I need right now. And it showed me a lot and for a kind of advice to put out there one of the most dangerous things you can tell yourself is i don't want to be lonely because that keeps you in a lot of bad situations um but i'm i'm telling you if if you make it if you can just be by yourself figure it out and it's hard it is very hard you're gonna be stronger you're gonna be better than you ever have because all you like if you can find if you can find happiness with yourself, you'll never not be happy because you have yourself for the rest of your life. So, yes, that's what I thought I was going to regret doing, but didn't. Thank you, Master Fortune Cookie. Yes. Yes. Uh, me. So, one of the things that I thought I was going to regret, but didn't. Uh, learning to trust other people to, like, with my feelings. Like, telling other people my feelings. That's not easy. It ain't. Mm-mm. And I haven't regretted it. Like the little I have done, I have reg- I haven't regretted it. <laughs> I've regretted every moment of it. <laughs> I've regretted every moment of it. No, just kidding. Uh, but no, I haven't. Like the little bit I have done, and I'm slowly opening up more. And this, you know, I don't regret. It's it. a process. Yeah, it's a process. You know, take your time, but don't take too long. <laughs> um, for me, the the thing I thought I was gonna regret the most is uh, buying the Raptor. Really? Yeah. You wanna explain a little bit? Um, I have a coworker that it's um it's weird to be around him because we're we're different in age, uh, different in background, different in culture, different you know, completely different. Yet he can start a conversation or, or start a story of something that happened to him, and I could finish it. Or I can start a story of what happened to me and he can finish it. Mm-hmm. It's like two people from two totally different worlds are living the same life. Uh, and one thing I talked to him about is, you know, uh, the raptor seemed like something that was impossible to do. Mm. C- I, completely impossible to do. And magically it happened within a few years. Mm-hmm. You know, and... I had it, and I didn't feel any different. It reminded me of that, uh, you know, let me not go forward in the story, but 
um, his thing was he understood what I felt and he was like it's because you were so caught up in the destination that you forgot to enjoy the journey and man nothing's ever made me think about everything that I've done except except for that you know statement and it's true I, I had just like pounded everything to just get a career started start working and then just work 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 and work now I had the raptor and it was like well it was possible now what now what okay what else can I do um, and you know, I had it and I wasn't too happy with it. Cause I'm like, it's, it just shows how much I shut myself off to be able to just do, you know, and, um, having it and, and hearing him say, you know, it's about the journey because the destination will not make you feel different. I understand that now. So I thought the Raptor was going to be a bad idea. I thought it was going to be the worst thing. You know, I'll probably just sell it, buy something else. But if it wasn't for the raptor, a lot of this wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have gone out to raptors on the ranch. There would be no anime raptor. There would be no revamp and 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 story of raptor strike after our whole, you know... <laughs> 2019. Tw uh, 20, 2019-2020 shop, you know, debacle. But now having it, I've had the most fun I've had in a long time. You know, being with you guys and uh, living the dream. I don't know what I want to do still. I don't know what my dream is, but my new dream is to live in the moment and just have a good time and enjoy it. Uh, one of the worst things I could think of is my funeral and, you know, everyone's saying he was a hard worker and that was it. What did I leave behind? No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, uh, Peter and I wouldn't have met. Um, a lot of people in the chat I wouldn't have met. Uh, and it's it's these crazy little things that just snowball into giant events, you know. And it's all based off of... I, I had this conversation with somebody in, in, in chat um, last week. I told him everything has transpired off of one decision that I made. That I thought was going to be the end. And look at us now. Um, so I'm I'm grateful that I don't always listen to reason. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? So, um, but I, I've I've had fun. And I, I I hope y'all have had fun as well. And I know it's stressful at times to try to keep up with everything and you know try to get these events going. And uh, but at that rate. I feel like we're finally kind of answering a call that we were supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Um, we do have a question in the chat. <laughs>